Uh, hello, lovely to be with you. My name is Eamon Coyle. I'm a Chartered Environmental Engineer and I'm delighted to be here in Balbriggan today to meet these two guys and speak with them about the environment. Uh, at, as we were speaking, RTE George Lee is just about 30 metres away from us and he is giving a report about the poor condition that the beach and the shore is in. And as an environmental engineer, I have my own concerns about the environment. I do, I'm also a wildlife photographer and I go out into nature a lot. For example, I go to Ireland's Eye, I photograph the puffins, for example, everybody loves to see the puffins. When I'm going out on the boat, I always meet tourists who always say to me, I'd love to see the puffins. And I'll say, right, okay, I'll take you to the puffins. And they're absolutely delighted. On Sunday, I took a guy from Romania and he sent me a text and he says, thank you so much for such a marvelous experience. However, about the puffins, they will be they, are be, they are being endangered and there is a fear that they're going to be wiped out like many species have been wiped out. One of the reasons that the puffins are going to be wiped out is overfishing. Puffins eat sand eels. Sand eels reside in cold waters and as we all know the temperature of the ocean has increased considerably over the last number of years. So in order to find the cold water the sand eels go deeper and go further out to find the cold water. That means that the puffins now have got to go further out and, f and deeper. The puffins are actually better swimmers than they are flyers. And then when they get the sand eels, sometimes they can't make it back. And now puffins sometimes have to make a decision whether to survive themselves or to survive their offsprings and sometimes they just have to let the babies die because there's no food for them and that is the story the situation with a lot of wildlife our wildlife has shrunk by 80 percent since the 1970s that is a startling worrying fact sometimes over the years i've sat in a hide in a photographer's hide in nature with nothing to photograph because there was no movement of wildlife. 